Here's the standard of the industry hook that I use. 3407 Mustad. That right there, I believe, is a 5 aught. That right there is a 3 aught hook. Well, that's what these positions here are for. You got various ways of opening a hook eye. And it goes in there like that. And what you got to do is you got to turn this down. There's a cup inside there. And then you got these needles or screws or whatever you want to call them. One's really thick, one's thin, and then one's kind of blunt. And you go down and you squeeze it. And now it's open. Right? And if you want to do it just a little bit more, get it open a little bit more. With doing it with precision, that's what this is all about. Because let's say you got another hook or something and you're going to join them. I don't, there you go. Like, let's say you're gonna join the hooks or you got another big hook and you're gonna be doing this with it and you're gonna be making a double, a double hook rig where they're gonna be riding together. Then you take this, these three placements right here and you stick it in there and you precisionly close the eye back to its original state. So that's what these are all about. These are very unique. They're on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page if you, you kind of want to get a pair. I'd always appreciate it, and thank you very much if you've frequented it. It'll be in the text video description below of this video. I'll have a direct link to these pliers on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. And while we're there, remember when fishing pliers, when I was a kid, fishing pliers looked like this. They didn't look like all these things. They looked like these. And this is, this comes from the gun making capital of the Northeast, New Haven, Connecticut. This is an original pair of the largest sergeant and company pliers made in the USA. This is the biggest ones. They made them smaller. They had a little sheath for them. And they had these side cutters. And I mean massive grippers that went together. They're not, they're not messed up. And I mean, these babies had power. 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 You're not going to mess this up. That's good American steel right there, folks. That is what I'm talking about. That's a three-aught hook. No problem. So that's what I wanted to share with you. So you learned a little something. You can actually buy a tool to precisionly open the eye of a hook, eye of a jig, anything. And... You got big split ring pliers and you got cutters and then you got the precision way of going in and closing that hook back to its original position. So the Dennis Braid Fisherman's Tools, I believe they're called, it says Braid right there. And when's the last time you saw these? The monster, one pound heavy. They're not stainless steel though. So that's the reason they haven't been out on the boat with me. They stay in the wolf den for heavy duty working of uh, hooks, wire leaders, things like that. So thanks for watching. America Strong.